Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for another awesome episode of Bioenergetics Beat. I'm Heather Gray, a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and certified bioenergetic practitioner. And this episode is brought to you today by Nikki, Unleash the Wellness Within. It's a non-invasive, easily affordable, and highly effective approach to optimize wellness. It's a wearable device that puts frequency better based life in your hands and on your wrist. Make sure you'll stick around to the very, very end because we always have an amazing, incredible giveaway that you're not going to want to miss out. But you're not going to want to miss out on one second of this episode because I read this woman's bio and holy crap, uh, it's absolutely incredible. And what she's overcome and, and then what she does now as a practitioner is just really very inspiring. Um, so let's welcome Dr. Natalie Greenberg to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, I am Natalie Greenberg, and I am a naturopathic doctor working here at the Center for New Medicine Cancer Center for Healing in Irvine, California, and I've been here for about a year and a half. That's incredible. So I found the majority of um, alternative practitioners, right, have a story on why we are doing something other than, you know, traditional Western med. So I'd love to hear a little bit about you and your background and what got you into this line of work. Yes. So my story is long and a little complicated, but I actually was in school at Columbia University in New York, going to school for journalism. And I thought that that was my path in life and something that I love to do when I moved into a moldy dorm room and my health just went all over the place and I was really non-functional. And so I actually went home for the summer and started working for a naturopathic doctor, just started getting into holistic health purely by interest. And then healed myself quite a bit, went back again for my second year, once again in a moldy dorm room and just completely lost my health for the second time. And so it was at that point I moved home, thought no way I can live in New York anymore. That is too fast of a lifestyle for me, too much energy in the city. And so I just became my own project and started learning everything I could, experimenting with every single therapy I could get my hands on. I was fortunate to be working for a naturopathic doctor who said, go ahead and experiment, do whatever you'd like. You know, she was there to support me in any part of my journey that I wanted to go down. But that's essentially how I got here. And so I started doing, you know, I started with bee venom therapy, which is definitely not the most common course that people go down, but I just researched it and it seemed really fascinating to me and was super natural and alternative. So I went with that. Then so wait, 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 wait. Yes. So were you treating the mold with bee venom or what, what were you doing for the, with the bee venom? So the bee venom was for Lyme disease. So okay. sorry, I missed that portion. Uh, so the Lyme disease, they're expecting that I really got Lyme disease when I was about four years old. I had mystery symptoms growing up, random joint pain, lots of stomach issues, just a lot of really random things that my parents honestly didn't think much of. They thought, oh, she's just growing up, got little things here and there. And I was at that point still very functional. I was a ballet dancer. I was overachiever in school, just go, go, go type A personality didn't stop. And so I was managing it, but then it was the exposure to mold that really tipped that off. And so that combination floored me. Awesome. Thank you for that clarification. I was like, wait there. I know there's a missing part to this start the story here. I still can't. I mean, you look, you literally look like you're 20. I can't get over all the stuff that you've accomplished in, in your life. Like it's just blowing my brain right now, but keep that. This is about you. Keep talking. Let's, uh, let's hear more about your story. So we're into B venom now. Yes. So bee venom therapy. And I was doing that by myself and I definitely didn't know that all, all that I know now. And so I have coached a few people through bee venom therapy now, and there's a lot of great you know, literature research behind it and a great way to do it. It didn't work for me at the time because I was sent into a giant histamine flare, set off mast cell, which is very common in the mold and Lyme community. And so I made myself sicker. So I did eventually have to stop that. But in the, I was also trying lots of other different, just nutraceuticals, herbal protocols, all kinds of things. Then I ended up finding a Rife practitioner who is from Romania, came to the U.S. twice a year, and I happened to be introduced to him. And so I had one session and had the worst Herx reaction that I've had in my entire life. And I told my parents, I have to go to Romania and continue treatment because I know this is what's going to work for me. And so I went by myself to Romania after being completely bedridden for about a year and not being able to walk to the end of the block. I said, I'm going to Romania. So I went to Romania for two weeks, right as I was supposed to be starting my naturopathic medical program. And so I was actually a weekend late to the naturopathic medical program. And they did try and stop me from starting the program and delay me a year. But I said, no, you're going to make it happen. I'm going to do it. And so I 
healed a significant amount being in Romania and doing that rife treatment. That was truly incredible for me. And I so believe in energetic medicine for that reason, but definitely not the end of my journey. Coming back, I still had a lot of work to do and I did jump right into naturopathic medical program. And so the stress of that exacerbated some symptoms. And to make things more complicated, I found out that the school I was going to had a big mold problem. So third strike with the molds. And I was again, very, very sick. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. I got so much better from Rife. I was doing all the things I knew were working for me. And I just was really at a standstill. I can't say that I was getting worse, but I definitely wasn't getting better at that point. And so I then COVID hit and we started doing everything virtually. So I went, I was at home all the time. You know, I definitely, it was less stressful because I was home, but I had all my tools and therapies that I was doing and I wasn't being exposed to mold on a daily basis. And that's when I got so much better. And so it really just showed me how impactful molds can be and why we really need to pay attention. And I truly believe as terrible as Lyme is and as debilitating as it can be for so many people, I think it's usually just one tiny piece of the puzzle and it's not usually just the Lyme causing all the problems. Amen. Did you hear that? Say that one more time for the people in back. <laughs> yes. It's never just Lyme. There's always multiple, multiple layers and we have to work on all of them. That's one thing I'm screaming from the mountaintop. Uh, Because it is sad that when people finally get their diagnosis, well, it's usually after decades, you know, and and dozens of practitioners not believing them, but then they grab onto that diagnosis and it's like they wear it like a cloak, like a a badge of honor almost, but, you know, because they have a name to the boogeyman, but like I said, they don't realize that. And then they just want treatment. Well, how do you treat? How do you treat? And it's like, you can't just focus on treatment. There's so many other pieces that come along with life with, with Lyme you know, and and what sets your body up? Like we were talking about this before off camera, right? We're both type A personalities burning the candle at both ends. That is going to set yourself up for being more um, predisposed, having a predisposition to getting stuff like Lyme and COVID or whatever the next boogeyman that comes in down the line. And, and the struggle is real with mold. Like I went to a couple of health conferences this last year and staying in moldy hotel rooms, like oh my gosh, kicked my butt for weeks afterwards. Like the struggle is real. So, ah, oh man, what an incredible story. And uh, we're going to take a really quick break. When we come back, we're going to dive deeper into, she had mentioned bioenergetic work um, with the lime and the mold. And I'm excited to, to hear what she has to say. So don't go anywhere that, and you're going to want to stay tuned for the free giveaway. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hi, my name's Stephen Davis, founder and developer of Nikki a personal frequency delivery system. This wearable is designed to deliver frequencies into the body to speed recovery from Lyme disease. Our Lyme suite of frequencies are the newest version of our Lyme recovery program. Thousands of Lyme sufferers, which include my family, use the Lyme daily to overcome Lyme disease. Today, I'm proud to announce a new suite of Lyme frequency sets that are gonna be focused on co-infections. Nikki is loaded with Lyme daily, which deals with the Lyme disease, plus nine additional frequency sets designed to address your worst co-infection symptoms. Those frequency sets include bacteria and virus, detox, emotional balance, gut health, histamine, mold and fungal, Lyme sleep, pain and stress. And we know that those are going to be well received from people with Lyme disease. We are passionate about speeding your recovery from Lyme disease. It's a terrible disease that no one should have to live with. Once you have used your Lyme daily, then choose from the nine frequency sets designed to offer relief from your most persistent symptoms. The key is to stick with it. Don't frequency hop until you've used the Lyme daily. Best practice is use the other frequency sets for a minimum of two hours before switching to another. This is giving the frequency sets time to bring your body into balance. Good balance means good health. Welcome back, everybody. Woohoo! If you missed the first half, man, you missed a lot. This young lady has been through a lot of the same stories the majority of us us, us has, except she went back to naturopathic school and you know really started becoming her own health advocate and using some incredible tools like Rife and Bee Venom Therapy. And then we're getting ready to talk about bioenergetic work and you know, some of the experience that she's had around with the wave one and the Nikki. And so let's dive deeper into that part of the story. 
Yes, absolutely. So working at the Center for New Medicine, we had done a research project with the um, Nikki company, the Free Medica, with the Wave 1 device quite a while ago. And so I was not here working at the time, but did get to read the research behind it and had firsthand experience with patients who had used it. And so I was lucky enough to get to try one of the Nikki watches and I started wearing it just, uh, it was, that was before they came up with the new combination protocol. So it was all the individual programming and I was using energy and using pain and immune and all kinds of random things. And it was on day three that I was taking a walk in the evening and I just stopped and like, why do I have so much energy and feel so good? I was mostly healed. I mean, I feel good on a day-to-day -day basis, but there was something just different that was going on. And I realized that it was that Nikki watch. And so it was just very exciting for me to realize that something so easy to work into my routine and that's so small, so simple could have such a profound impact. And of course, as you mentioned, you know, I've done a lot of energetic medicine in the past. And so I'm very familiar with the impact, but this is a very new technology that's really incredible and in how seamlessly you can incorporate it into the routine because Rife is very expensive. A lot of these other tools, you need a lot of education to use them properly. I have patients that buy Rife devices but they don't really understand how what the technology is or how to use it properly. And you can make yourself sicker, unfortunately. So this is, for me, a very safe, easy technology that anybody could benefit from. And so after I noticed the benefit, I just started telling everyone in my family and every friend that I had, you have to buy this watch, you have to get it. And so I also started using the Wave 1 device myself just to test it out and see how I felt. And we have lots of patients here that were using it. And it is just so incredibly effective working with the body, working with the patient. And it's so methodical in working with 30 days of detox prior to really killing anything that's in the body, which is an issue I see over and over again with patients is they've done so many protocols to kill whatever pathogen they found on lab work. And it's great. We do want to get a lot of these pathogens out of the body because they do create harm. But there are steps that we need to take before that. We need to make sure detox pathways are open. We're going to the bathroom regularly. We have proper breathing techniques, which very few people do nowadays. Our liver is flushing. We're urinating sufficiently. We're able to sweat, which most people exposed to mold or that have a long history of chronic illness are not able to do. So focusing on that first before we jump into anything else is really key. And then I also like to do a lot of just cell membrane and cell work. So making sure that we have all the B vitamins so that our Krebs cycle works and we're able to produce ATP, which is our cells energy source. If we don't have that, nothing's going on in the cells. If we don't have minerals, our cells can't communicate properly. And we start to absorb lots of heavy metals, which is just one more issue that we come in contact with. And then our cellular membranes become so degraded by these chronic infections, by molds, all these pathogens in the body, we really need to work to repair that. Much of that can be done with diet, but sometimes supplementation is also really indicated. Absolutely. 110%. Like it was sad because when I first got my diagnosis, you know, and the doctors just wanted to do the Western med, right? Put me on antibiotics, but at no point was anybody asking me if I was pooping, which at the time I wasn't, right? Ask me about sweating, which at the time I wasn't, right? What's your stress level like? Are you sleeping at night? And it was a no wonder that I felt like I was going to die, right? You know, two weeks into that protocol. So it's, it's, it's huge to really lay down these foundations first. And that's one thing I love about bioenergetic work as well, because it can be, that gentler way in to start moving the needle so that that way what we're doing on the physical body can just work that much better. Yes, absolutely. And I feel like bioenergetic medicine also can really push on that parasympathetic nervous system so that we can get back into a state where we can actually heal because nobody's healing in a sympathetic nervous system state, which is what all of us run around in 24 seven. And many of us thrive in that being a type A personality, which most of my patients are, that's what feels really good to us, but that's not where our body actually wants to be. And so using something like the Nikki watch or any sort of bioenergetic medicine will really help to support that while we start to tune into, oh, this is the, nat the body's natural rhythm. This is where we should be. This is how we should feel. Because oftentimes I recommend breath work and different things like that, but the patient is so far into the sympathetic state that they can't even get themselves to breathe. And so it just creates frustration for them and they don't get a response from it. And then, you know, they want to jump back into the antimicrobials and start killing things again. 
<laughs> we are definitely conditioned, right? Like a pill for every ill and there's a critter, you know, go after it. And I love like breathwork. I remember when I first heard about breathwork about 10 years ago and I scoffed at it because I was like, what do you mean breathwork? I breathe every damn day. You know, if it was so good for you, like, I, you know, I didn't understand. But then I was one of those shallow chest breathers, you know, so I was very anxious and, you know, of course in fight or flight and uh, man, like after learning a few different types of breath techniques, like I'm, I'm addicted like every day. And when I can find myself getting up there, how quickly and how fast and free, right. Free. Can you get yourself back into a more balanced state? And it's sad because so many people, and I was one of them that kind of dismissed the simplicity of some of these protocols out there, but really that's where a lot of the magic lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that you mentioned free because there are so many free tools out there that we have access to that we're not using. And it is really expensive to have a chronic illness. <laughs> I went to multiple doctors. I All the therapies I did were extremely expensive. Even going conventional and using antibiotics, that all is really expensive. So doing the things you can day to day at home, I love and promote to everybody and really think that there isn't one single person that couldn't use a little support in terms of nutrition, breath work, grounding, exercise, drinking proper water, all of that, just removing toxicity so the body has to work a little bit less hard to just keep you healthy. Well, it's funny because you had brought up the cost of certain Rife technologies and other bioenergetic machines. You know, I have, I used to have a Ness, which was $20,000. I used to have another Rife, which was a uh, something out of Germany that was like $30,000. So when Nikki Free Medica, the wave one started coming across my Facebook feed, I'm looking at it. And at the time it was 1500, you know, now it's 995. And even at 1500, I was dismissing it. I'm like, there is no way that works at 1500, you know, not, not up against my $20,000 machine. I no longer have that $20,000 machine because it wasn't moving the needle like this 995 machine does you know and if you don't have the 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 lime the regular it's just two was it two two ninety nine it's ridiculously inexpensive for this type of technology mm -hmm. and that's really why I recommend it to all the patients that I see they don't have to be suffering from Lyme or mold the immune setting the virus bacteria setting the energy setting I mean who doesn't want those on a day-to-day -day basis to just protect us the travel when you're out and about in the world at grocery stores nowadays you know, we had with COVID, everyone masking up and doing all these precautionary things. I have on my Nikki watch. It's the best protection that I could ever ask for. So they're, it's just so useful for everyday life. Absolutely. So do you have any other little last nuggets that you want to drop on our listeners here? For me, it's just really about making sure while you go through treatment and really even before you go through any sort of treatment for a mold, for a Lyme, any chronic infections, it's that you're supporting the body's natural ability to heal. And that's really what naturopathic medicine is all about, is just giving your body that basic support that it needs so that it can do what it already knows how to do. And that's what the bioenergetic medicine does, is it works with the body to reteach it this is our natural rhythm. This is how we function. And this is what we're designed to do. So instead of jumping to those super high level peptides, antibiotics, you know, all the really expensive things, let's start at the very ground layer, find a practitioner that's really understands that and is willing to work with you and do all those things before you move on to anything else. Because I guarantee you, your body is going to be so primed and ready to just fight off these bugs that you won't need nearly the amount of treatment that you would have otherwise. Can I get an amen? Oh my gosh. Mic drop. If I had one, I need to get a prop because that would be a good, <laughs> that'd be a good visual. It's funny. You bring that up. Like just the other day, my son, who's 20, who grew up with me teaching these principles. Uh, I could have killed him the other day. He's, he's having some stomach issues and he's wanting to put on more muscle. And he's like, what do you think about peptides? And I'm like, I think you need to dial in your diet and stop eating crap before you start, you waste your money on peptides. Like don't pass go, don't collect $200. Dial in those foundations, folks. No, absolutely. Yeah. Where can people find you at? So I am here at the Center for New Medicine, Cancer Center for Healing in Irvine. So you can schedule an appointment with me that way. I am on their Instagram quite a bit, teaching little nuggets about different supplements and different healing modalities that we have and that I recommend. I do have my own Instagram, Dr. Natalie Greenberg on Instagram, that I am still trying to kind of get up and running. So I'm in the process of doing that. Hopefully this year is the year. It's one of my resolutions. That's like a whole nother part-time job in itself is getting social media, getting traction on social media. 
Yes, it is. So I'm trying to make that happen this year. <laughs> so go, go follow her on Instagram and mm -hmm. Hey, make sure to also go to wearenikki.com um, forward slash podcast and enter in BioBeats for 10% off. We really love our customers and the way we want to show our appreciation is we give away a free Nikki on every episode. It's not the Lime one, but the Nikki Platinum series we give away off, off, off of every show. Um, make sure to go to the show notes to, to watch to how to register. Uh, good luck and thank you for joining us and make sure to have a healthy day. Thank you, Dr. Natalie. Thank you so much for having me. Nikki Plus Lime is the next generation of Wave 1 technology referred to in this testimonial. Since the Wave device, have you been able to get back to yoga? I have, yes. Not even just teaching, but like my own practice. That was a huge, I remember so clearly, I went to a class last year and I wasn't even able to do like a basic pose because my body was in so much pain and that's not something I've ever experienced before. I'm sorry, I'm getting like really emotional thinking about this, um, but it is, it is really hard to have things that like you almost take for granted in your daily life and then suddenly to just completely lose the ability to have those things anymore. So it almost in a way is like there are silver linings to everything. And that is a silver lining is just like being grateful for so many of the basic things that we often don't even give a second thought to. So long, short answer, yes. Nikki puts a personal wellness center in your hands and on your wrist. Be better, do better. We are Nikki.com. There's a new word for wellness, Nikki. Nikki, the bioenergetic wearable designed to help you feel better and perform better. Other wearables just track how you're doing. Nikki is about helping you do better. Touch the Nikki screen to choose the frequency you want for what you want to do and how you want to feel. Nikki puts a personal wellness center in your hands and on your wrist. Be better. Do better. We are Nikki.com. The views, information, and opinions expressed in this content are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of Free Medica. Free Medica Technologies Inc. and its employees are not responsible nor verifies accuracy any of the information contained in the following content. The primary purpose of this content is to educate and inform. This content does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services.